Hey up me ducks, it's Simon here. Welcome back to the Hermit's Cave. So, my thousandth video, 1,000 videos. Wow, it doesn't, it doesn't even seem possible. Particularly when I think back to my first video. Um, <laughs> and it was a tag. It was to, as I mentioned in the live last week, it was a tag response to Armin Lynch's Tarot Tag 15. And I was so nervous and I remember uploading it and then thinking, now what do I do? I've done a video and everybody's watching because thank, it was very kind, but uh, Kelly, Kelly Fitz from The Truth In Story gave a shout out in her Saturday night live that I'd done a video and asked people to go and check it out. And I was like, I don't know what to do. And I thought my channel would be really short lived. Um, and here I am, a thousand broadcasts later, and I can't believe I've had so much to talk about, to be honest. Um, a lot of them are lives. Um, a lot of them are unboxings and walkthroughs, first impression videos. Um, but I've been on quite a journey when I, when I look back. So let's start right at the beginning. In 2016, I stumbled across this community quite by accident. And during my cup of ketchup and cards, catching up with series where I've interviewed so many people, 50 people, um, if you look at my playlist from the community, a lot of them also say that they found um, this community quite by chance and very similar stories to mine. So I was in a bookshop in Nottingham and I picked up uh, the Rumi Oracle and there was not very much, because the decks were sealed, not very much information. I couldn't see a lot of the images. And I was really unsure whether to buy it or not. And I put it back on the shelf, went home, and I was thinking about it and I thought, I wonder if there's a video where people kind of like show cards or um, or even just Google images. So I remember going to Google and putting in the Rumi Oracle and then a video suggestion. And I can't remember exactly who it was. I think it might've been Ariel from Maven Unmasked. Um, but there was this YouTube tutorial walkthrough of this deck and seeing these images and thinking wow this is this is great you know and being bemused that she was talking about cardstock <laughs> that never even occurred to me or the fact that it was borderless and the size comparison and and I was like wow this is really thorough and detailed and of course that led me down that rabbit hole that we all go down we get suggestions of other videos. And before I knew it, you know, I was seeing lots of people pop up like Kelly Bear, um, Elle from Sacred Seed, Kelly from The Truth In Story. And then a guy popped up, um, which was Patrick uh, Fogarty. And his channel was in the 78 cards. And before I knew it, because I'd subscribed to Kelly's channel, I got this notification one Saturday night whilst just watching TV saying live. And I kind of clicked on it and I could see people chatting and Kelly interacting with people. And for the longest time, I just sat and watched. And then it became a regular thing. I kept getting this notification on a Saturday night and then I, you know, typed a little message in very timidly. Um, and over the few months, I really felt like I was starting to, A, really look forward to my Saturday nights, and B, feeling part of something bigger. And that was, that was a, a real shift for me because I have always termed myself as a bit of a spiritual shopper. So as you know, I've got a, a Mormon background. I'd studied with Jehovah's Witnesses. I'd studied with the Barana Kamaris. I'd looked into Hinduism, um, I became a Buddhist. But everywhere I went, every group, physical group that I went to, I always felt like I was on the peripherally looking in and I never really felt as if I was part of that community. And even though the incredible happens when you hit record on this, and many of us who are content creators 
will attest to this, we say that we're quite shy and in social situations um, will be that wallflower who kind of stands back and observes. And I have got better with that, with the people that I've met over the, the last few years. But here I was finding an online community and before that the concept just would have never even come into my mind um, where I really started to feel um, that I belonged somewhere and that I might have a voice. And I was very, very much encouraged by those people back then um, to start a channel. And about six, seven months after that, so towards the end of March 2017, almost coming up to four years, um, I hit that record button and put something out there. As a bit of a test in the water, I'll just dip my toe and see how we go. Um, but the journey has been amazing. And the reason why I'm making this video is just because, I wanna say thank you really, because you really have become a, and I'm not gonna get uh, emotional, <laughs> but you really have become such an important part of my journey and such an integral part of the community that I feel that I belong to. I had an email from somebody the other day who said, um, I've been a silent member of this community for eight years, um, but was talking in the letter, I've got the letter over here, that they, they sent me about some of the things like, I really enjoyed your tarathon section, or um, I really enjoyed when you was at Becker's and the 444 and the chatterbait thing happened. Um, and it made me realise that there are people probably watching this who yet or have yet to, to comment and just know that you are, you are a valuable member of our community uh, because you support me and other content creators. So from that very shaky, nervous first video, the last three and three quarter years have been absolutely incredible, absolutely incredible. Um, and when I look back, you know, to those early videos, um, I watch and I kind of look behind my hands like, oh, that's, that's cringy, but I would never change them and I'd never take them down because I can really see how my, my journey in the online community has, has developed. And I've met some incredible, incredible people and I've shared some very, very special moments as well. So from going, just doing tag responses or doing deck walkthroughs, I look back and I think of the series and things that I've done. I can remember my very first live, my first cup of catch-up in cards, um, which is three over three years ago now. Um, and I really love them. And Saturday, 4 p.m. is my, my time where I can just sit down and have a connection um, with, with you as a community. And I really treasure that hour and a half each week. I always feel like when I get to Saturday, no matter how stressful the week's been and how depleted my energy levels are, when I have my cup of ketchup and cards, I feel like I've been recharged and ready to go for the week ahead. And we pull that card and we look at what's what could potentially could be coming up as a as an indicator for us. I've done uh, catching up with and I've, I've met some incredible people. Yes, Patrick Valenza. Yes, Deborah Croft Chapin. But just members of our community who some people don't have channels anymore who I've interviewed. Some people started off really small and have really grown and developed. Um, some people are content creators, other people, deck creators, writers. It's just been absolutely incredible to, to be able to do that. Throwback Thursdays, which happened for a whole year as well, where we looked at some older and perhaps forgotten decks and just really reconnected with them again. Um, my walking videos, that's not tarot related. And this, I class this as a, a tarot or divination uh, style channel, but just going out and about and showing people around this country that I live in or around my city, which I'm so proud of. And I love living in, in this city of Nottingham. Um, I've been really popular and people seem to en enjoy them as well. 
the collaborations that I've done, um, the people that I've met, I still remember. Um, and it was quite rare back then where two content creators got to me and do a joint video. Um, but when I met Kelly Bear, um, again, you know, almost three years ago now, um, in Watkins Bookshop in London, it was such a surreal moment. But from that first experience, making a friend for life, you know, and we, we talk all the time. And even though with this pandemic, we don't see each other as much as we'd like to, we're still, you know, video gliding and, and things like that. And then everybody else, and there's too many to mention individually. I mentioned Kelly because she, she was my first, but there are people in this community that are class as family. There are people in this community that are lifetime friends, and it really has been an incredible, incredible experience. So thank you. Thank you to you for watching, subscribing, um, interacting with me, sending me messages. Um, there have been moments where there have been, you know, soaring heights, but also crashing lows. And what I've appreciated, and more than anything else, is those of you who have stuck with me through all that and, you know, just offered your support, either publicly or privately, just know that you've touched me in so many ways. And that is the only reason why this channel is having its thousandth, the 1000th video. Because if there wasn't that re uh, interaction, if there wasn't that support and encouragement, then I just know that I would have given up um, a very long time ago. And there'd be a few little videos dotted about from somebody called Two Spirit. <laughs> so yeah, I started as with my name and Kelly from The Truth and Story will remember that because one of the very first things was I entered a competition and won a reading from her. And then when I changed to Two Spirit, she was like, who's this? Um, and I used Two Spirit for almost a year without realizing that that, that term um, is problematic. Um, I used it because I thought about the fact that I believe as a Buddhist, the duality of everything, and the fact that I was a pagan Buddhist um, and it was, you know, two spirit. As, um, but then I saw through a, uh, a equality, diversity, inclusion workshop that I went to that people outside of the Native American Indian culture shouldn't use that term. So of course, once you know better, you do better. And I changed it and became the Hermit's Cave, which is perfect. You know, I identify with the Hermit the most in the tarot. This is my cave, my hermit's cave. It's where I feel safe. It's where I feel happy. And yeah, I like to invite you into my cave as often as I can so that you can share uh, with me my love for tarot, oracle and all things divination. So again, thank you so much for all your support. Um, you really will never know how grateful I am for that. And here are just a few, just a few out of those 1000 videos of just some of my favorite bits. And until next time, as always, go in peace, namaste, and blessed be. Hi everyone, this is Two Spirit here. My first video actually, and I just thought I'd um... Pop on. Hey up me docs, it's Simon here. Welcome to Hermit's Cave. Wow, we already have people in here. <laughs> and there's the bells. That means it's 10 a.m. UK time. And that those bells indicate the start of the first ever 24 hour tarot thon. I'm so excited. It's Simon here, to spirit Welcome to Cup of Catch-Up and Cards. Um, the new edition, actually. This is Two Spirit Catches Up With. And I spoke about this last week on the channel. 
and we thought it would be good fun to invite some people from the online tarot YouTube community to join me in Couple Chat Up and Cards. And I am absolutely delighted to say that my first guest, as many of you will know if you've seen the, the teaser that we did when we met up on Thursday in London, is none other than our very own Kelly Bear. Say hello, Kelly. Hi, oh, sorry, I was fiddling with my phone because I wanted to get- Hey, on my ducks. Welcome to Hermit's Cave. It's Simon here. And um, welcome to everybody who's been waiting in the room. I know there's already quite a few uh, people in. Um, so as you know, we've been talking about this for a few weeks. I'm really, really excited today to be having the opportunity to talk to somebody who I have admired for such a long time. Ever since I've known about the Deviant Moon Tarot, um, I've been obsessed with this guy's work. And um, I was thrilled when I reached out to Patrick Valenza and asked him if he would come onto the channel and have a cuppa with me, as I know many of you were as well, and say hello and welcome to Patrick Valenta. And Patrick, would you like to say hi and introduce yourself? Hi, Simon. Thank you so much for having me. It's quite an honor and really excited to be here. Really appreciate it. It's great to, to finally have a little cup, cup of catch up with you, you know? And then I will share how you know, I work with color and stuff and how the soul cards happened, but this is the pure process without um, this is incredible. color or anything. Um, I mean, even before you lift that paper, the image from this side is just striking. Right. And this is why I'm doing it on tissue so you can see it better. When I'm doing it on the heavier paper, it's not it's much more subtle. I can tell enough, but this way you can really see how the image. So in a sense, it's like looking in an inner mirror. Look at that. Can you see this? Wow. <laughs> It's quite an emotional experience, actually, for just seeing something created right in front of your eyes. Emotional experience. 
but it was incredible. But I know now that something has come back to the surface that requires me to um, to deal with. So that's what I'm going to do. And then pull it. Oh my God! Here it comes. But are you prepared for this? Oh, you thought, yeah. There's Please no... let me know if you think this is weird, because I am so sure it's weird. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what that is. Oh my god! What happened? <laughs> you should see what just happened here. <laughs> He's come anyway. dragging a pair of wife. He's got a pair of lips. He's got a pair of white fell out of a trouser leg. Stuck to it. Oh, the key! This is the hole. No, 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 but watch, right? This is the hole. Yes. Okay, it's a tower. There's a door. Yeah, that's <laughs> it. <laughs> the toilet you rolls. Have the, the spares. That and goes then the in real there. one, right? So I went for a wee earlier, right? And the, that... the, no, but the problem was that there was none sticking out the top. So We're I'm supposed like, to. But I've got this fucking big ring on, so I can't get it. So I have to do this, and then I'm like doing this, and I'm like, what the fuck? And then it doesn't. You do the just pull it. What the fuck is that? Yeah. <laughs> what? What's the um, problem? Pretty. Um. I can't believe you're actually showing your underwear on live TV. You're yeah, cheating. I know, but you actually come showing my bras and knickers on. Well, once you've shown your feet, <laughs> that's the pair I'll wear. Oh my god! How how am I involved in this? <laughs> oh my <laughs> god! They fit you. <laughs> She's putting them on. She's got them on. You can't, can't see. tell. Hang on, hang on. Yeah, let's get our torches out. Whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> I'm too sexy for my pants. Too sexy for my pants. Too and sexy man. it hurts. Do now look at that cute little butt. She better than I do. <laughs> look at that cute little butt. Oh my God. Right, I'm getting them off. Hi guys. So, just arrived in Glastonbury. Um, so excited. I'm just coming out of the car park. So this is how busy the train is at the minute. No one is moving because we're gridlocked. <laughs> Giselle said, I think it's going to be quiet today. <laughs> so I'll show you these views. They are breathtaking. You're like walking right on the edge of this precipice. It's just look how steep it goes here. Oh, my feet are like and legs are like jelly. It's very windy here at the top. I'm nearly at the top. Let's try and muffle it a bit. Oh, it's getting really steep. I should have perhaps caught my breath before I hit record. I think I'm the only one up here. I'm at the tour. 
is unbelievable, the sights. Oh, amazing place. Let's take you for a 360 degree walk around the tour. just thought that it might be an idea yes what a surprise um it might be an idea for days where i'm not aware of scheduled lives to just come on quickly even if it's just 30 minutes um certainly no more than an hour um just to do a quarant stream and quarant streams at the moment are um YouTube content creators trying to keep people who are quarantine in quarantine, who are self-isolating, those who are housebound and um, not coming into contact with other human beings. Um, and I've heard some cases recently, particularly in some European countries, where there are people going weeks without speaking to anybody um, unless it's through a window or things like that. Guys, it is so hot today. I was wearing just, I'm not now, I've, I've learned my lesson, but I was wearing um, boxer shorts only. Thank goodness, because when I got home today from work, I was like, nah, I might, I might just go raw. You know, I live on my own. That's the sort of thing people who live on their own do, right? They go raw, and then I thought, no, just, just put some pants on. That pants over here, underwear. I was broadcasting live without even knowing it, and I'm going out there. You can see my behind to get my charger for the iPad, which is where I read most of the comments on. And then I came back, nice frontal shot, and I looked at my phone, and there's messages coming in. You're live. You're live, and I'm like. No! So I come rushing back in here. I could see the chat scrolling up. 52 people have seen it. <laughs> yeah, got great legs to be fair, sorry when that happens. Profound wisdom is made accessible with this content. Con so it says profound wisdom is made accessible with this contemporary. So it says, profound wisdom is made accessible with this contemporary. What's wrong with me? So it says, profound wisdom is made accessible with this contemporary. I can't speak. <laughs> I know the word. <laughs> contemporary. So why can't I say it? Profound wisdom is made accessible with this contemporary of my life. Profound wisdom is made accessible with this contemporary 78 card deck with expansive guidebook, which uh, I give up. Okay, so it says, profound wisdom is made accessible with this contemporary Okay, so it says, profound wisdom is made accessible with this contemporary. 
why can't I say it? <laughs> Contemporary. Contemporary. Profound wisdom is made accessible with this contemporary. Profound wisdom is made accessible with this contemporary 78 card deck and expansive guidebook, which demystifies the traditional tarot without losing its essential magic or structure. This down to earth yet captivating tarot reveals the extraordinary in the ordinary, reminding you that there's nothing humdrum about everyday life. The distinctive cards depict recognisable characters of all ages, experiences and abilities. Oh, for fuck's sake. So it says, profound wisdom is made accessible with this contemporary. <laughs> Thank you.